Hey Scorpio, how you doing? Gonna be doing your reading here for August and uh, general read, so just take what resonates, leave the rest out. See what's going on here for Scorpio. What messages do we have here for Scorpio? If you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below. Starting off your reading here with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's see what's going on here. What's blocking you? Three of Wands. Fire energy here. It's a sense of you. Again, flip the energies if you need to. Maybe this is someone that you're thinking of, but um, there's a sense of you wanting to start something new. Um, but, you know, it's kind of this Three of Wands energy is about looking out at what's there, right? So maybe you're doing research. Maybe you are, if it's a new job that you're looking for, maybe you're applying other places. There's something here about something new that you're looking into. Three of Wands, though, is your challenge. So there's a sense that, um, you know, again, it's, it's like you're still trying to figure out what's out there. There's, a, there's you trying to find something here. Something about an opportunity, okay? We do have the Death card underneath Scorpio energy that's starting off your reading. So um, I do feel like this is you, but let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on here. Recent past. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's see the focus here for Scorpio. What is the focus for Scorpio? Two of Wands, making a decision. I'm telling you, like this is this is someone here that is trying to make a decision on something, some sort of path here. Um, let's see possibilities here for Scorpio. What's the possibilities for Scorpio? The Two of Cups. Wow, could be a connection or a partnership. Now it doesn't have to be romantic for everyone here. So let's see what's going on. Near future, near future for Scorpio. The Knight of Swords. Let's see in your power here, your feels, what's going on for Scorpio. We have the Eight of Cups. There's a few things going on here. I'll try to talk about this to where it's not not confusing environment here we have the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy let's see the hopes and fears the king of pentacles we do have a couple here somebody's hoping for someone or wanting someone to come towards them um, let's see the outcome what is the outcome here page of cups so there is some sort of offer coming towards you um, or are you offering someone here? We do have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so let's see what's going on. I mean, the Page of Swords energy, for some of you guys, this is an energy of you looking, like I said, looking at something else and what else is out there. Like it, you could be a new job, you want to move towards something else. There's a new path here you want to move towards, okay? Something that leads towards stability, finances, and just overall, you know, something different, all right? Now for others of you, it's also meeting someone else in this this journey, this movement here, because you have the Knight of Swords here. And uh, this person that you're meeting matches you. I mean, it's like this sense that I don't feel like you see this coming, but you do feel like you're walking away from something. So for some of you guys, either someone's walking away from a connection um, or you're walking away from something here. Um, but with this energy here, I don't feel like this is someone from the past. I mean... For some of you guys, this could be a, a new connection that is that you're meeting here in, in some sort of new beginning here. Okay, now for others of you though, there is a sense with the Three of Wands and the Page of Swords that you know you've been waiting and, and maybe someone has been looking into you on something here. You've been waiting for someone to come towards you, but you know it hasn't happened yet, right? So there's a decision here that you're making towards a new connection and moving forward with your own life, and you're kind of walking away, maybe letting go of um of a connection here so you can move forward to something new and it seems like as soon as you do this it's like this new connection comes in that's very grounded very grounded energy so it doesn't matter the sign i mean their sun sign it could be whatever right but you know maybe their moon venus rising has some earth energy in here um, or just earth in their chart or they have this uh energy of like wanting to um, not only just commitment, but it's like build something here, build something for the future. 
um, there's a sense of being very mature as well okay now with the page of cups this is an offer it's not a knight it's a page so it's like you just met somebody you know there's something here about um, being introduced or meeting someone here and starting something new here but it, with the king of queen of pentacles it's like you are you both are at this vibration of creating something very good financially and stability here for you but there's something about letting go of the past and moving towards something new here brings you some sort of new connection okay um, let's see let me see this two of cups here what is this two of cups here for Scorpio this is two cups two of cups for Scorpio and for some of you guys there is a past person here that's wanting to make a decision to come towards you but it feels like they're going through a process to um, to work on themselves because they're coming they're gonna be coming towards you as a king of Pentacles um, doesn't matter male or female just the fact of an energy of being mature so maybe there's something here that they need to work on here so for some of you guys let me see the two of cups I, just, I feel like really it's you walking away from the past and, and you do meet someone new here high priestess coming out with the two of cups you know there's an awakening here to a connection meaning that you're waking up that um, you know possibly that you know you've been waiting for you know somebody here for for quite some time and and, and it's like you you feel like it's time to move forward here um, you know the, the the whoever this resonates for is not going to be for a lot but it's like you're starting to realize like the connection that you used to have with this person from the past isn't as strong as it was and it's kind of becoming to the point where you know it's it's at this energy of like I, like I said need to move forward here you're having this intuitive kick where it's like you know waiting for this to come through is not going to change anything and it's like in order for you to make any changes you have to kind of make the moves here right and moving moving forward and it's a lot about again letting go of this energy and walking away from it okay um, I'll see the two of wands there is a five of swords underneath here um, it feels like for some of you guys there's a lot of confusion off one situation it doesn't have to be romantic all the time just something here that you're just you've been very confused about but now you're starting to receive some sort of clarity or you're having a vision of like knowing which direction you want to move towards okay so king of wands yeah aries leo sag energy yeah you're having this sense of um, you know for some of you guys you might be thinking about you know a little bit how you want your future to look and moving towards that way trying new things here that you haven't tried before um it, it's that leo energy too it's like and we, we're in this leo season so it's like this um there's an energy of trying new things here is what's going on um i feel like you're either trying a new industry work-wise um again being open to new connections here whatever it is it's something new that you're trying here and it could be anything it could be a uh, with the page of swords it could be you um you know maybe you have some sort of talent or hobby that you're into and you're like doing research to say how can i get this going in a different way where you can kind of um, build on that right here but but as you're doing this there's a you know moving forward into something new and letting go there's a new connection that comes in okay someone here that either is older than you a little bit um, you know or you know maybe they just have experience in this situation here let me see the king of pentacles you have the death card Scorpio energy is there you know there's a new beginning here with someone but let's see one more card on that the eight of wands there's communication there, there's something about meeting someone new here um, either this person communicates with you or you can communicate with them um, and it kind of brings some sort of new beginning here with de the death and rebirth card it ends something and you're starting something entirely new here I feel as though this person helps you out or guides you maybe even like a, um, you know just someone here that helps is what I'm getting from this someone that is spiritually mature they don't have to be older than you age-wise they could be younger but just someone here that is experienced in what you want to get into okay you have the page of wands underneath here this is an energy of ideas but really just moving again it's that leo energy it's like just take, rolling the dice and seeing what's happen what happens you know um so if there's something here that you've been wanting to get into it's like it's a good time to try it it's a good time to kind of do some research and move forward towards it and kind of 
going into the unknown, but being very excited about it, you know, very optimistic energy. High Priestess with the Two of Cups here, intuitively, you are, you're on point. I mean, you, you know, there's something for some of you guys, it's about just listening to your intuition and you kind of have the answer, but it's like waiting for some sort of answer too. I'm not going to go so much in a circle on that, but there is a lot of energy of back and forth with the past person here. But, and that's why this Eight of Cups is over here in your power. It's like, you have with the two of wands in your focus and the eight of cups, it's like it's all up to you to walk away and get this new new opportunity here for you. Okay. Let's see this page of cups and then we'll get an oracle here for you. But there's definitely um, a new connection here coming towards you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're going to be very happy with it. A lot of changes coming towards you here. We have the six of pentacles. Okay. So it's like. Look at that Leo energy, six of wands. You're going to be happy. There's going to be something here where you're going to feel very good about whatever decision that you're making here. Um, but with the page of cups and the six of coins, it's like, or six of pentacles, it's like, um, you know, there's an energy of meeting someone new, starting something, a uh, friendship, something here. But it's an equal give and take. It's, it's like this person gives to you and, and you receive and vice versa. It's a very balanced connection here that's coming towards you. Um, and again, something that puts you in the Six of Wands energy that you're very happy about. There's something here about um, this person appreciates you or at least um, acknowledge acknowledges who... There's, there's a sense of respect here. You know, it's like this person cares for, um, you know, how you feel and everything like that. It's like you guys work together. There's something here about in this industry um, or same, you guys do the same things. You know, you know what I mean? Like if you are, um, you know, if you, if you're, if you're writing a book, this person also writes the book, you know, something like that. Um, for others of you with the six of wands here, this person leads you to being very, um, this could something, something about a lot of people finding out about you or a lot of people, um, acknowledging you. There's something about, um, being known to the public. So I don't know if you guys are working something on a platform or something, but, um, it's like you become very known with this movement here. So I don't know, this King of Pentacles is like someone that knows a lot of people maybe too. Um, it's, wow, interesting, you know, but it's a, it's a good energy, good energy. But I do feel like oh, some of you guys here, there's something about being um, in the public eye, something about that here. Let's see, number four, we have the owl that comes up. And let's read a little bit about that here. So it says wisdom. Open your eyes and see what is really there. Look for the whole truth as you may only be seeing part of the whole. Through experience we can gain wisdom to not make the same mistakes again. Develop your learning and intelligence as education is never wasted. Negotiation is better than attack. So again, you know, it's like this page of swords energy. It's like it's you looking into something new, maybe doing research, maybe even needing certificates for some something here. But there's a sense of a new direction here for you, Scorpio, and a new connection. Okay. And like I said, for some of you guys, there's a past connection with the Knight of Swords coming towards you here. But I I still see you in this energy, this Eight of Cups energy. Okay. This is the energy that I'm seeing. Scorpio, that's your reading. If this did resonate, please do hit that like button. And uh, if you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that bell button for future notifications. And until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.